guys, it's Zuhi. Welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I am going to indeed swatch the new Etude House Happy My Piglet collection. I received this as PR from Etude House and I asked you guys on my Instagram if you guys wanted to see some swatches and the majority of you guys said yes. So I thought why not take some of these out and swatch them for you guys. And indeed, I did use some of them to complete this makeup. As you guys can see, it's very spring, it's very pink. Let's just get started with the video right away. But let me start off with the eyeshadows. There are a total of 10 shades, including matte, shimmers, or jewel colors, as Edward House calls them. And the color theme is very bright, springy corals. Now, one thing that I did take note of was that even though the glitter or the jewel colors look like they're gonna give off this very sparkly, glittery payoff, they did work more of as a subtle shimmer shade. So the payoff wasn't as intense as it seemed like it would be. But anyways, let me show you guys a quick eye makeup tutorial using my favorite shades. One of my favorite shades is definitely BR418 Falling in Love, which is a muted brown milk tea color with a moth mixed into it. And it just makes the perfect base color or a transition color shade as the formula is also very creamy and soft. And so I'm just going to apply that very generously over my eyelids. Another favorite color is this beautiful pink shade called RD306, don't be sad, that has gold and pink glitters across. And like I said, even though these look like strong glitter shade, they go on more of a shimmer shade for me. And so they're great to work in every day for a daily subtle look. Another shade that I just want to quickly show you guys that I'm not going to apply is this BR429, which is more of a copper brown with a drop of pink. And it's very similar to the RD306, the one that I just showed you guys. If you're less into the springy pinky color and more into the more intense and reddish color, I do recommend this one. Last, to intensify my eye makeup, I am going to apply the color Great Rabbit. <laughs> this color is a purple brown color filled with pink and gold glitter. So it's not as intense as a brown matte color and it's really easy to work with. By the way, these shades overall, they work great with either brushes or your fingers. So that's it for the eye makeup. It's really simple and nothing too cray cray and as you guys can see the eyeshadows, everything is more on the subtle side. Now moving on to the blushers. There are five shades in total that all scream out spring and these are actually called jelly mousse blushers. So they have a bouncy texture like jelly and they actually kind of go in, sink in, the formula sinks in if you push on them. And they feel more like cream blushers than powder types. So I like to use my fingers most of the time, but you can still use brushes with these. It seems to do fine. The first shade is called My Piggy, which looks really intimidating at first sight. Actually, all of them did. I was actually really terrified to use them. But all of them, including this one, My Piggy, they actually go on as really clear, transparent colors. And this one is a safe standard pink and just gives a very soft impression to the makeup overall. Just a very spring, coral, romantic feel. The next shade called Oink Oink Happy Piggy. <laughs> what a name, right? It takes more of an orange coral hue and it is very bright and does carry a bit of that white cast. However, because these blushers all translate to a very transparent, clear, soft color once applied onto the face, it just gives that bright, youthful spring look to the makeup. So they are relatively easy to work with, including this next shade, which carries a very strong tomato red hue and gives you that naturally flushed look. Like seriously, it honestly just looked like I was blushing instead of having put on an actual blusher. One thing that I thought was great about these blushers is that you can definitely layer them and build these build sorry build these colors up without having to worry that you look like a clown. So I think that's uh, one of the great things about them. They're really easy to work with. Next color called Gloomy Piggy is definitely a brighter and cooler pink with a hint of violet. So this color really makes your own complexion look very bright and transparent. It makes your skin look very transparent even. And I think this would be great for those with very porcelain skin or those who just want to cover up the redness that they have on their cheeks. Last but definitely not least, since this is my favorite color, is Shy Piggy. And I'm just going to apply it with a brush. Like I said, these work great with both fingers, your fingers, and a brush. And this color is more of a muted cum color compared to the others, but still goes on as a fairly bright peach color. And the color actually reminds me of cherry blossoms. So for me, this gave me the most romantic, springy, lovely color out of all the five. 
Last category, we have the lip products. These are called the liquid lip air mousse. So they have this light whipped up texture. Now, to be honest, guys, I was a bit disappointed with these, uh, with the colors and the formula, <clears throat> especially since first the colors there, they seem very generic and most of them were too cool toned, too neon and too bright for me. As for the formula, even though they go on as a, like a wet hydrating formula, they emphasize your dry patches so much. And over time, they also dry out your lips. So they don't have the best longevity and they do leave a stain which for me is not a big problem but anyways uh here we go with the swatches first we have the shade rd301 and i think this is the safest shade for everyone to use it's basically a very vibrant tomato red color that pretty much will work on any skin tones and out of the five colors this has the strongest payoff as you can see this next color was honestly a frightening color, PK001, which is a very strong fuchsia pink color. This also has a very strong payoff and this honestly clashed strongly with my own skin tone. So it personally wasn't my favorite, but I will say it's a very fierce and bold color. And I think this is one that will work great if you have very cool toned skin, very porcelain skin. Next up, we have the shade PK002, which is more on the subtle side compared to the first two colors that I showed you guys. But this one also still has a very prominent coral color payoff. And it is on the cooler side. This also clashed with my own skin tone again. Even though these formulas aren't the most difficult to work with, you definitely need to take the time to blend them in. OA201 is a very neon coral pink with a lot of white cast, so this was also another color that I didn't really vibe with. Like I said, I wish that Dude House did come up with a more variety of colors, even though it's still spring. I think they could have come up with more shades and more ranges of colors. So I was a little bit disappointed. But anyways, moving on. The last color is OR202. And it's a coral color that looks very similar to OR201, which is the color that I just showed you guys. But this one, 202, has a slight hint of orange apricot color. To be honest, both felt too neon. And I think these two colors emphasize the dry patches on my skin the most out of all the colors. Uh, so yeah, there you have it. So that was it for the swatches. Like I said, guys, um, even though I do think it's very cute and I was oh, generally impressed with the eyeshadows, I did think that maybe they could have released more diverse colors with the blushers and the lip. Don't forget to like, subscribe to my channel and follow me on Instagram at underscore C Beauty. And I'll see you guys in my next. Ciao!